and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Through the blood of Jesus, we have the right to enter the sanctuary by a new way which he has opened for us, a living opening through the curtain, that is to say, his body. And we have the supreme high priest over all the house of God. So as we go in, let us be sincere in heart and filled with faith, our minds sprinkled and free from any trace of bad conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us keep firm in the hope we profess, because the one who made the promise is faithful. Let us be concerned for each other to stir a response in love and good works. Do not stay away from the meetings of the community as some do, but encourage each other to go. The more so as you see the day drawing near. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? the man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Alleluia. 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 Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowd, Would you bring in a lamp and put it under a tub or under a bed? Surely you will put it on the lamp stand, for there is nothing hidden, but it must be disclosed, nothing kept secret except to be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen to this. He also said to them, take notice of what you are hearing. The amount measure out is the amount you will be given and more besides. For the man who has will be given more. From the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, yesterday we reflected on the parable of the sower, how the seed fell in four different places. Today we have another parable, the parable of the lamp. 
We all know the importance of a light. We know the importance of a light. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will have the light of life. Now, in today's gospel, Jesus teaches us to let our light shine for the entire world to see. So it means that as a Christian, your light has to shine always. And when do we receive the light? Remember, during the sacred baptism, the holy baptism, when we come here to present a baby for baptism, there are some symbols that we present to you. And some of the symbols that we give to the candidate is the symbol of light. Why? When you follow attentively the prayers that goes with the light, he said, we say this, all the priests, we tell the godparents and the parents, receive the light of Christ. Let the light of Christ, the, the flame, the faith keep in your heart. And when the Lord comes, may you go out to meet the Lord with the light. So it means that we are not going to meet the Lord when we live in the darkness. No. We are going to meet the Lord with the light. Everybody. Everybody has to let the light shine in front of men. And so, Jesus Christ insists on it today that our light has to shine for the entire world to see so that through us they may come to experience the true freedom of the children of God. It's very nice. That is our practice of Christianity is all about. It is something that we have to be attested and witness to it, and then those who doesn't know Christ will also come and follow him. Our Christian practice is should be always be like the lamp that has been seen by all. I invite you today to reflect on the words Jesus Christ just said, the words that just proclaimed to you in today's gospel. Let your light shine in front of men. Let your light shine. Our faith can be compared to the light. Our faith can be compared to the light. Remember, as a Christian, you meet a lot of trials. You meet a lot of storms, turbulence. But remember, faith doesn't stop storms. But it creates a shelter in the storms. I repeat, faith doesn't stop the turbulence or the trials. But it creates a shelter in it. So whoever stands firm and overcomes all the trials and the, the turbulence or the temptation or the tsunami then you will find a shelter who is God himself. And so our faith can be compared to the lamp. Our faith is not merely a private matter or only something, but something real, personal, and passionate relationship with Jesus, which is only intended to change our own lives, but also to transform the world in which we live in. So that through this, other people should be so attracted to Jesus because of our authentic living of his gospel. And then they can come up to us and ask us why we are so happy. So if you are not happy, it means that there's something wrong with you. And if there's something wrong with you, you need to find the root. We have also to let our light shine every day not only one day, every day, in order for us to have also a blessed day. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't light your light, you see that at the end of the day, you will be gloomy, you will be moody, you will be so many, you know, things will cover you. But you start the day with the light, you will see that the day will end of you with the day of the light. 
Let your light shine every day for us to have also a blessed day. And anyway, in the end, what matters most in life is not what we have bought, what we have acquired, what we have learned, but what we have built. Not what we have got, but what we have shared. Not our success, but our significance. Not what we have learned, but what we have taught. Not our competence, but our character. Not how long we will be remembered, but how, by whom, or for whom we remember him. According to the text message we received today. And so, my dear friends, you don't have to glory in the things that you have bought. You have to glory in the Christ. As St. Paul said, for me, I have count everything as nothing. There's another thing that I want us to see is the measurement. The measure with which you measure will be measured out also to you. What does it mean? Some of us, we are found of judging others. We are found of condemning others as if we are the eternal father. My dear friends, we are just a mere children. And so the measurement that you use for your husband, the measurement that you use for your wife, the measurement that you use for your flatmates or whoever comes to you, remember that when you are doing this, you are also, you have to know that somebody will also use the same measurement for you. You see the fingers, they are not the same. So when you point neighbor, the rest of them comes back to you. In English we say this, the walls have years. Don't think that you are doing this and you are running away. No, you are doing this, you can never run away. So when we become a judgmental, when we become you know, so prejudiced by judging the people, Remember that God will also judge you. This, is, this means that Jesus is telling us that we will be forgiven based on how far and how depth we forgive others who sins against us. Let us pray in this holy mass that our God will continue to enlighten our, our lives as Christians. We should let our light shine always. We should always ask the Lord to give us the light, as the psalmist said, your word is the lamp light of my feet. So if the word of God is the light of your feet, you always walk faithful till the end. So that when you walk through the valley of darkness and shadow of darkness, he will be there to rescue you, and mercy and goodness shall follow you all the days of your life. May God bless us all.